What's going on everyone? This is Sage from Sage Knows IT. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. Um, share this out uh, to your social channels. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Um, this is going to be, I believe, the second or third entry into my cybersecurity awareness um, month track uh, that I'm going, that I'm helping out, uh, doing my part as a security professional. Um, so if you haven't seen um, the previous video, just stick stick it out to the end. I'll have uh, the playlist there so you guys can check that out. Um, I actually had another topic in mind for this iteration of it, but I was thinking since this is an employee awareness kind of thing that I'm going for this week, I thought I'd talk about something that's a little less common and that we're probably not going to uh actively be remembering when we all get back into the office post pandemic um, piggybacking so piggybacking is a form of social engineering and if those who don't you know if you don't know what social engineering is it's basically being able to trick someone into doing something um, basically lowering their human emotions uh, or or taking advantage of their human emotions to get them to do something um, you know the most common one that people say is like hey I'm calling from the IT department I need your password to get in and fix something or update some software you know pretending to be someone that you're not but piggybacking does exactly the same thing um so it's the act of being able to access a area that is uh, normally sealed off by some type of access control system um such as like badges rfid badges um, or passcodes or biometric scans or things of that nature. Um, so kind of think of like hitching a ride off of somebody else's credentials is essentially what it is. And um, where I, I previously worked in an office, um, you know, many years ago, and um, that was something that happened like on a daily basis. I'm not even going to lie. Um, and it was just simple as, you know, and it, it's innocent. It really is. In most cases, it's innocent, but it can lead to something you know, um, something a little bit more nefarious if you let the wrong person in. Um, but you know, essentially how it works is right. You just, uh, um, you know, you open the door by badging in and then someone behind you, uh, just walks in or you open the door for someone without having them use their own credentials to get into, um, into a secure facility. So it's not, like I said, it's innocent, but that's usually could be the first vector of someone actually getting into a, a secure facility. So like in this video right here, this person just walks out of the facility and someone just walks in. That person, you don't know who they are um, or what they're doing um, whatsoever. They could be, um, you know, that, that could be their way into, um, you know, working their way to the elevator to get into the data center or uh, to go to someone's desk while they're not actively there. They might be on lunch or things of that nature. So, you know, what do you do in those particular situations? You know, you don't want to be rude, you know, to somebody that that's using your credentials to, to pass in. Um, and there's several things that you can do. Right. Um, you know, the very first thing is, you know, if it's definitely someone that you don't know, even if it is someone you know, they technically should be badging in if 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 the location that you're getting in requires it. Um, and if they're not, you know, I, you should with a non -con -con uh, con confrontational way is to ask them, hey, do you have your badge? Um, and let me see your badge or something to that effect or go ahead and badge in. Um, and if they don't badge in or you they feel some, you know, you feel like they're being a little sketchy, then it's probably best that you let your security team know. Hopefully the security team is watching people who are badging in and they notice the people who are not badged in that they bring them up to the front and, and, and have words with them. Um, in an ideal world, that's, you know, what we really want a, a secure team to do is to be able to monitor that. But that doesn't always happen. Um, remember, as an employee, you're typically the first line of defense. Um, for your company, right? Um, whether it's you monitor emails or watching someone suspicious coming in, um, you should be vigilant of that. And I know, you know, we, we kind of come into this little circle that we don't want to rat someone out because of, you know, we don't want them to, we don't want to feel like we're being negative. Um, but y you never know what kind of threat that somebody poses um, under the guise of being quote unquote, a nice person 
and you're doing the right thing. So just be vigilant of that. Um, again, piggybacking, it seems like it's innocent, um, but that's usually the first attack vector to get into someone's computer systems or doing some other nefarious uh, activities. So make sure that you, um, if you do see that going on, that you report it um, or ask the person to kindly go to the to the front desk so that they can sign in and badge in because you don't want to be responsible for something to happen. So um, that's my spiel on uh piggybacking if you guys have any questions let me know um if this has happened to you or if you've seen this go ahead and put something in the comments i would love to hear your story about it um and uh, i'll definitely respond to you as well um so thank you so much for joining um again please be sure to hit the like subscribe button um down below visit the website www.sagenosit.com for some great information and also if you haven't already uh, most registration for voting um in the national election um has most of them have passed but if you are registered to vote please be sure to vote um i think early in texas early voting starts next week um so please exercise your right to vote um y'all know the drill keep it real